Hey everyone, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to show you how to make a box envelope for six by eight size cards. I've got a few on the channel now. I'll have a separate playlist of those up here and um, they need boxes. So the book, open book, I think it was card, that's a six by eight. Um, I've got a few others as well, but this one, just a normal nice box. So it's, you know, it's going to fit nice small gifts in as well, small clothing, things like that. And then you can see the card that I've got in this one here which is a, a new one, gorgeous shadow box. And it's just, you know, it just finishes off. You've put all this work into, you know, something beautiful in 3D. You want something that's going to be able to protect it and also for the person to keep it in if they're going to, you know, treasure it as a keepsake. So yeah, very easy to do. So let me show you how. Okay, so first of all, you want a piece of eight and a quarter by nine and a quarter. Along the eight and a quarter side, you're going to score at one and seven and a quarter. And then along the nine and a quarter, you're going to score at eight and a quarter. Basically, you've got a one inch section or side on three of the sides. And then you want this piece, which is going to be, well, this has the closure on it. So this is eight and a quarter by 11 and a quarter. Along the eight and a quarter side, you're going to score at one and seven and a quarter. And then along the longer side, you're going to score at one nine and a quarter and ten and a quarter okay so fold and burnish all the score lines so next you want the smallest piece and you're just going to remove the squares in each corner and then with the largest piece you've got one end that's got just the one one inch section and then this end's got the two one inch sections this is the end you want to cut first and i've just cut up just to free up those squares and then just take a little wedge off of the sides there you can do both sides or just do the inside like i did there and then this end here you're going to cut down the, past the first score line and down to the second and then again down to the second and then remove the squares completely at the very end like so and then again, just take a little wedge off of the sides there. Okay, next I'm going to add glue all over this one here. Now thinking, now you could, if you want, add the glue to this one. Now, I would probably say don't cut a wedge off of the bottom of this piece. Because I think really, you, if you, because this one's going to go on top. Basically, we're going to line it up like this. You can see, because I've cut the wedge off, you can see underneath this one a bit. So don't cut the wedge off. <laughs> I'll put a little um, a thing, a pop up will come up. Just keep the bases both completely straight just so they cover each other. You just want to have one long piece like this. And now, I mean, you could put that one over the top of this one. But then the whole, what I was trying to do was not have the join at the front here. Because I'm classing this as the front where that would kind of go in there. And then you'd have like your little finger pull there so yeah it's up to you which way you kind of want to do this so now we can add the glue onto each of these small tabs and you're going to attach that onto the base there as i bring it up this way it's a bit easier and then just bring that one round so it's a nice strong reinforced envelope and like i said by giving it that extra quarter of an inch on each side just means you've got room to wrap the card in tissue and for any um detail that you know may overhang and then those pieces are going to go inside and you can see how that all comes up around so i'm going to use the construction glue now on the longer pieces here I use the quick grab which is cosmic shimmer just literally for that for a quick adhesion it's great for your small tabs and things like that and then the clow is always good for large areas and to start adding in a lot more strength so i'm going to do it on both sides here and then just fold those in bring that down and then you can just kind of lay it on its side and you can see how quickly it comes together and you've got your box envelope and if you get your ruler just pop it on its side most of the rulers are about one inch thick anyway, so that will go right in. And again on this side. 
And now those will fold in and then this one will close like so. You see, you've got your envelope. Now, if you want to add a little finger pull on this one, just so it's a little easier for, you know, whoever's got it to open, you just take a punch. If you don't have a circle punch, you could just cut a little triangle in the middle or a square shape. I'm just going to pop this so I cut half a circle like so. And now... There we go. So it's now easy to open. You can pop your to and from, or you could have it on that side if you want. And then my card example to pop in here. Again, I'd wrap this in a little bit of tissue. Make sure the sides are dry. You can see that slides in there perfectly. I've got a bit more dimension because of the padding on the back of this one. So thank you for watching. I hope you like this envelope box size. I know lots of people have been asking for this one. And like I said, it will go with lots of other cards on my channel. And I will put them into a separate playlist for people that like this size card. Check out the other envelope boxes coming up now as well if you want to see how those ones are made. And as always, thank you for watching. And I'll be back again very soon. Take care. Bye.